Good morning. This is Scott Davis from TechWise Group. Today is April 9th, 2020. It is National Former Prisoner of War Recognition Day, as well as National Unicorn Day, and the first day of Passover, which officially began last night at sundown. On the technology side, uh, Google has officially added Zoom to their list of banned applications. So Google employees will no longer be using Zoom for their online meetings. Uh, Interpol, joining the FBI and other government agencies, officially warns of COVID-related ransomware and phishing threats uh, targeting the healthcare industry. Um, it also came out in the news that TravelX, TravelX uh, a few months ago had a breach uh, where they got ransomware. And through that process, uh, they paid $2.3 million in Bitcoins. Uh, TravelX is a ATM style machine that does currency transactions. Uh, so if I'm flying from Europe into America, I could put my euros in and get American dollars out or vice versa. So TravelX paid $2.3 million in Bitcoins to you know fend off a ransomware attack. Uh, I think it goes without being said, they didn't have good backups. Um, it may be a good job, uh, a good time today uh, to uh, take a file and rename it and ask, ask your IT guy to recover it to, you know, kind of do your own little test of your backup. But obviously, if you don't know what your backups are or the last time your backups were validated, your backups are probably not in a good state. Um, in other news, uh, the Have I Been Pawned, PWNED website, uh, if you're not familiar with that website, Have I Been Pawned, uh, you go to the site, you type in your email address, and it gives you a list of every site your email address came up on as, you know, as part of a breach. Um, they're at 9.5 billion names, or 5 point billion records of email addresses uh, already here in 2020. They've added 71 million uh, so, you know, the clock is ticking now on their approach to 10 billion records of, you know, breached email addresses. Um, but uh, what I want to get into is Divi Cloud. Uh, Divi Cloud is an enterprise cloud security service. Uh, they surveyed 2,000 IT professionals. And, you know, of those IT professionals, you know, 93% of them reported that they are using public cloud in one way or another. That number is not surprising because if you think about it, Dropbox, Box.com, Office 365, Google Apps, these are all cloud services that are public cloud. So you will see that number is high. It may even be a little bit higher, uh, but 93% probably is a pretty accurate representation of, you know, industry as a whole in one way or another using public cloud. 59% um, of the respondents in this survey reported a data breach resulted from a misconfiguration. So this is important because when you set up a new security service or you set up a, a cloud service, are you just using the base security permissions? Are you just using the base settings and saying, I'll figure it out later and never going back to it? Uh, this happened with a major bank in the U.S. that had data in AWS, Amazon's data center. Uh, they blamed it on a firewall misconfiguration in uh, the AWS environment that allowed the breach to occur. So 59% data breach misconfigurations. It really leads you know, me to say that you want to get a double check of your configuration. You want to get someone that knows your environment or at least knows, <coughs> excuse me, that knows the system that you're using. Um, just for example, TechWise Group, uh, we do a service, it's called a Microsoft 365 Health Check, where we do a deep dive into your 365 environment, your Azure environment, your Teams, your Office 365, your Exchange, and we come back to you with a full report of where your security is today and what changes you should make to make it more secure. One of the most common things that we recommend is enabling multi-factor authentication. It's amazing how many companies don't do this, small, large, and even enterprise. The top concerns that the survey of these 2000 IT pros had 
56% uh, misconfigurations. That makes sense if 59% reported that there was a data breach from misconfigurations. So that means they went through a data breach and they're still not confident that their configuration is right. So reach out, you know, to your IT department, your IT vendor, uh, you know, or TechWise group if you, you have nowhere else to go, um, or if you just like these videos, uh, you know, reach out to us, talk to us, let us, you know, go through the process with you, um, and make sure that your environment's secure. As more and more of your staff is working remotely, the last thing you want is to be in a situation that we're recovering now from coronavirus, but now you have a data breach to worry about. Which a data breach was the second top concern at 39%. Uh, the third, you know, top concern was user management. Uh, you know, how do I just manage the users? Well, you know, again, with TechWise Group, we can manage that account for you. Uh, we can do workstation management, server management, cloud management. Uh, you know, and those health check services. So there's a lot of things, you know, we can do at TechWise Group and there's a lot of IT vendors out there similar to TechWise Group. So if you feel comfortable with your current IT guy, you're happy with them, they say they can do this, give them a shot. If you want to put a double check in, you know, by all means reach out, we can do that second check for you. The I think the number that bothers me the most, and it's completely realistic and it's completely honest uh, is of the of the 2000 IT pros 49% reported that IT teams now this is systems engineers developers etc will override cloud security and compliance settings to do work uh, so it's you know hey I'm trying to do something it's not working well let me disable this function and see if it works and do they remember to turn it back on it's just it's a horrible practice the services that you do the the products that you build the you know the way the system's configured it should work with these security services if you constantly have to turn them off or disable a functionality to get you know something to work the way you want it to work then you're bypassing security and you're opening your infrastructure up to a hole so if you find yourself doing that please just just stop um, and you know reach out to someone and you know let's figure out why it's not working the way kind of you want it to work with the security versus disabling the security to make what you want work work um, so again you know that's it for uh, April 9th 2020 I thank you all for tuning in have yourselves a great day